Here are the derivative rules for all functions. So starting with number one, the derivative of a constant multiplied by a function u is just going to be the constant multiplied by u prime. For number two, the derivative of u plus or minus v is a, is a sum and difference rule. So it's going to be equal to u prime plus or minus v prime. Now the derivative of u multiplied by v is the product rule where you do u prime v plus v prime u. The derivative of u divided by v is where you have to use the quotient rule and the formula for that is v u prime minus u v prime all over v squared. Well, the easiest way I remember is by saying low d high minus high d low all over low squared. The derivative of a constant will always be zero and the derivative of a function or u to the n power is going to be the chain rule where you bring the power down, subtract the power by one, and then multiply by the inside function, the derivative of the inside function or u prime. Now starting with number seven, the derivative of x will always be one. The derivative of absolute value of u will be equal to u over the absolute value of u times u prime. And u cannot equal zero, otherwise it'll be undefined. The derivative of natural log u is just u prime over u. The derivative of e to the u is e to the u times u prime. The derivative of log base a to the u is the, the easiest way I remember is by saying u prime over alma or u prime over u times the natural log of a and the derivative of log base a to the u is a to the u natural log of a times u prime so now starting with number 13 the derivative of sine of u is going to be cosine of u times u prime the derivative of cosine u is negative sine of u times u prime. The derivative of tangent u is secant squared of u times u prime. The derivative of cotangent u is negative cosecant squared of u times u prime. The derivative of secant u is secant u tangent u times u prime. And the derivative of cosecant u is negative cosecant u cotangent u times u prime. For number 19, the derivative of arc sine of u or inverse sine of u is equal to u prime over the square root of 1 minus u squared. The derivative of cosine of u is negative u prime over square root of 1 minus u squared. The derivative of arctan or inverse tangent is u prime over 1 plus u squared and the derivative of arc cotangent or inverse cotangent is negative u prime over square root of, or over 1 plus u squared. The derivative of arc secant is u prime over the absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus one, while arc cosecant, the derivative, is negative u prime over absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus one. So these come in pairs, and the ones that start with c, like cosine, cotangent, and cosecant, are the negative versions of sine, tangent, and secant. And finally, for 25 and 26, the derivative of f of g of x is going to be the derivative of the outside, so f prime g of x times the derivative of the inside, which is g prime of x. And finally, we have the derivative of the integral from a to u of f of t dt. So since derivatives and integrals are opposites of each other, whenever you derive an integral, they'll end up canceling. And that u function on the top will just end up being substituted into f of t. So the derivative would be f of u 
times u prime. So this is the chain rule. 